welcome to another video. Today we're doing something completely different. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you're usually used to the trucking and to the going to the farms and everything else, but today we're doing something really different. We're going to be winding yarn for the first time. I've never done it before. Um, if, you know, if you know me personally, I started knitting about a year ago, back when uh, COVID started. Um, people were making sourdough bread. For some reason, I saw somebody making a hat, and I said, I can do that. And uh, I tried doing it, and I found this local yarn shop here in the area where I live, and they had classes. And since then, I've been going every week, and I just freaking absolutely love it. Uh, in the next stage of knitting and evolution, when you buy certain yarns, a lot of times some yarns are already wound, but some of your nicer yarns aren't. And uh, at where I go, they will wind it for you. They have it. But I thought, you know, it would really be nice to uh, get myself a winder. And then this thing here is called a Swift. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these unpacked and I'm going to wind yarn for the very first time. I'm not going to do any practice rounds. So if I make any boo-boos, you're going to see it. So uh, hopefully this all uh, goes well. Uh, let's get this uh, let's get this unboxed. Here we go. Ta-da! Hey, look at this. One thing I've learned from making videos, I, I wanted to shoot this whole thing but this would this five seven minute video probably would have turned into 20 25 minutes me unboxing it but this is really cool i i, I gotta tell you it's solid they have uh these winders that are plastic and the gears are probably about 30 bucks 40 dollars and i was just afraid that after to do it maybe the gears might break this really feels like it's good craftsmanship and i'm really looking forward to putting this together one thing I did notice, my table here has this beveled edge. So this is a little bit on an angle, but we will get this all squared away. But I just want to take a second. Um, I guess I really probably should have recorded it, all of the excitement when I was unboxing this, but this is really nice. I'm looking forward to doing this. So let me go upstairs, get a piece of yarn. This little clamp here goes on here. We'll get this mounted down. I think that will probably be enough room to do it. Um, I guess if it isn't, we're going to find out. So uh, let me get some yarn and I'll be right back. Okay, change of location. So quickly found out that on my coffee table, that beveled edge that I was talking about, this was on a little bit of an angle. And around here, there's um, a bracket that you put on here for stabilization. I couldn't get it around the uh, table itself. The, the lip on the bottom was just too long. So in the meantime, I also put pajamas on, so we're really getting comfortable here. But right away, I could just, this, uh, this feels great. So I'm hoping that for the first one, this goes well. Plus we have an audience. My wife is off to the side, so she's, uh, I'm invisible. yeah, she's invisible. So anyhow, like I was saying earlier, <clears throat> if you don't know anything about knitting, uh, some of the stuff, when you buy your nicer yarns, this happens to be baby alpaca, which it happens to be one of my favorite. See how it comes like this? So from what I understand, this should just, yeah, here we go. I think I'm doing this right. Uh, where, where am I? Great. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I think we just put like here and hopefully yes indeed look at that it's all you ladies at the knitter's edge see i I'm, i was watching you so now this swift isn't as nice as the one that they have there but this seems like it's pretty good let's see okay now this happens to be where i knit all the time so i've got my little scissors here gingers so I think there's some little, yep, I think we just cut these. They make it seem easy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. That came out. And oh, here's another. Um, this looks like it's knotted together. So I'm hoping that this is the beginning and the end. So I'm going to cut it. I hope I'm doing this right. So... We'll just, uh, oh, we'll get rid of that. We don't need this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now I know this little pigtail gets wrapped around like that. 
and then there's that little slit. Yep, yeah, it goes all the way across. So I think we just put it like that. We take a sip of coffee. We cross our fingers. Lehigh Valley Fiber Festival. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you keep a little tension on there. Oh, maybe I'm going a little too fat. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, something happened. Oh, okay. So we're going to start again. I hope everybody's getting a kick out of this. So. Uh, okay. So maybe that part I cut, I shouldn't have cut. I'm sure I'll be uh, being told about this later. Let's try it again. So, right, uh, so it goes around and around there, and then put it through a slip. Put it here like that. We want to keep a little tension on there. Let's see how it goes now. I think there should probably be a little more distance between. The swift and the winder, but this seems. Oop. Oh, let's see. Uh oh. Oh, the yarn's breaking. Oh, oh. Shit. oh, it's not the thing. It's the yarn. Maybe you have it too tight. Maybe you need it looser. I don't know. Maybe I'm wasting a bowl yeah, of yarn. Yeah, you're wasting a better. But we're going to try it one more time. You have to do it learning. Actually, we're going to move the swift over to the other corner. So more back space. in three minutes here. Okay. Let's try this again. My wife just jumped in the shower, so sorry if the... The noise gets to be a little. All right. I'm wondering if I just had too much tension on there, or maybe I was going a little too fast. So we're gonna take it down a notch, go a little slower. Now I noticed that the yarn looks like it's being pulled from the, is it being pulled from the inside? Yeah, it looks like up there on the Swift, it's coming from the inside of that loop. So maybe when you put it on there, maybe you need to spin that around a little or get it so that it's facing the right way. That's something I'll learn. So far, so far it's so good. I like this winder. It really feels good. It did say when you're done to take that rubber band off. And I did buy a pack of like three extra um, rubber bands. So I think I should be, I think I should be set. Oh, there you go. It looks good. With a spin around, I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like the honeycomb, but it does. Okay, good. I thought I was doing something else wrong. So far, so good. I'm wondering if I was pulling too hard in the beginning there. Hopefully someone will let me know. Because right now, the tension in my left hand, it's just going through gently. I think I was holding it tight. Almost as if like um, when you're fishing, you hold that fishing line and you're trying to see if a fish is biting. I was just maybe holding it a little too tight. So a, a little more distance might be a little little better, but I think this works. Oh, look at that. We're at the end. Look at that. And my very first uh, wound piece of yarn. Let's see. All right, everyone. Here we are. All done. Really happy with that. Let's take a look at this real quick. Not too bad. Not too shabby for my first try. 
So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, watching me watch my first ball of yarn here, hanging out with me for a few minutes. Uh, this will probably be coming out tomorrow, I guess, Thanksgiving. So if you're watching it when it first came out, happy Thanksgiving to you. Have a Merry Christmas and uh, consider like, commenting, subscribing or not. That's okay too. I'm glad you took the time to watch it, especially if you got this far into the video. And uh, stay tuned for more. Happy holidays and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.